Happy Monday, everyone. Um, I have a really bad headache. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> basically a mess. But um, I thought this was a really good question that Friday night shows. Um, and, yeah, so I wanted to talk about what happens um, when you decide to take that first step in telling people about your eating disorder. And basically what happens when you decide to come out of the closet because that can be a very scary thing. Um, I have so much to say about this. Um, the first time I ever told someone was um, a few months after I'd been diagnosed with anorexia when I was 16, and I talked to my best friend. Um, we were doing a video night and a sleepover at her house, and the whole time I'd been planning to talk to her about it because I knew that, um, you know, she knew that something was going on, and I was very aware there was always this this unspoken something between us that she didn't dare to bring up and I didn't want to talk about. So um, I decided to come clean, but I I was so worried and so nervous because she was the first person I talked to. And um, basically we watched a movie and then after that I said, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. And she just stared at me and she said, are you anorexic? And so she kind of took that burden away from me from having to say it out loud for the first time, but then I told her yes, and we talked about it, and um, we talked about it until 5 in the morning, actually, um, and it felt really good and really liberating to, to after that, to be able to talk to her when I was having a rough time, but what also happened was, um, I think, very representative of what always happens when you talk to people, um, and they care about you their immediate reaction is going to be, what can I do to help you? They always want to do something. They're scared shitless. Sorry, excuse the language. But um, they're really scared, and they get really worried, and they want to do something. And they're probably not going to be very um, informed about the nature of an eating disorder. So there's going to be a ton of questions. And, um, you know, you just have to remember that... Um, if you talk about it, it's going to cause a reaction. It's going to cause, um, it's going to have consequences for how they deal with you after that because they're going to watch you and they're going to ask you questions at the most impossible moments for you about who, how you are and how you're doing and progress and your recovery and um, if they can do anything to help you. And sometimes you're going to be very grateful, but sometimes it can come at just the wrong moment when you're really down and you're not even sure you even want recovery anymore and you just cannot stand talking about it. And, um, yeah, just remember that, you know, once you brought it up, it doesn't mean that you have to talk about it every other time. You're completely free to say, I don't want to talk about this right now. I'm going to answer this later. Or maybe that's not a question I ever want to answer. It is completely 100% your choice of how much you want to talk about and when. It's always in your hands. Um, even if they oppress you, even if they get really um, um, annoying about it, it's always your choice to say, I don't want to talk about this right now. Um, um, also, what happens is, um, mostly for the people I opened up to, um, what I tried to communicate was that I didn't want them to try to fix it because they couldn't. Um, all I wanted was for them to, to be there in case I needed someone to talk to. And I needed them to know about it so they would understand why I acted strange in certain situations. Um, and also to be kind of careful about the comments they make around me. And that works out somewhat. I mean, you have to realize that you probably know so much about eating disorders. You're so well informed. And you do so many things every day that have become completely normal to you. But somebody else who's never been faced with an eating disorder like that is going to be completely shocked. And they're not going to know what it's like. They're going to have bits and fragments in their heads of um, things they picked up in the media. You might hear comments like, but you're not a skeleton. How can you have an eating disorder? And that really hurts. That really hurts. That's one of the toughest things to face. And that happened to me, too, and I had to deal with it. Um, you have to pick out the people you open up to pretty carefully, I feel like. Um, I'm all for honesty, I'm going to come to that later, but don't tell everybody around you. Pick a few people that you can really trust, because it's going to take time, too. I mean, after that first talk, it's going to come up again and again, because it's not, they're going to have questions that you're going to have to answer, and um, they might even kind of
kind of forget about it after a while because they don't realize how serious it is. You know, that can happen too. Um, honesty takes power away from the eating disorder because if you talk to people about it, at that moment, you first of all realize and admit that you have a problem and yes, you need help for it. And second of all, you distance yourself from an eating disorder because at times, especially if you've had it for a long time, you can become so identified with anorexia or bulimia or whatever else you're struggling with that you kind of start to, to you don't see the border anymore between your own personality and the eating disorder person that you've become. You start confusing the eating disorder with your own personality and that's really wrong. And one of the really positive things about other people who care about you is that they will always see you as somebody they love and care about and appreciate threatened by an illness, a disease that has nothing to do with the person that you are. They're always going to see you as completely separate from the eating disorder and they're going to fight the eating disorder but help you and that really helps to to just get you back on track and get you back to realizing, yeah, I am a person apart from my, my eating issues, you know, I have this whole other life that other people see and appreciate and try to help me get back to, you know, and that can be really helpful and also to see how shocked people are at things that have become really normal to you. Um, it's a very, very emotional issue for most of us. You can be really hurt by people's reactions. Some people might be grossed out. Some people might be so overwhelmed that they distance themselves from you. That's never happened to me, thankfully, but it is possible. I mean, during my last fall relapse, I talked to my best friend here, my mom, and a couple of friends at school that I spent most of my time with. And it was really good because I knew they all saw something was going on, but nobody would talk about it. And it was always this big unspoken thing um, hanging in the air between us that that was really uncomfortable and really awkward. And once I said it, you know, there were some people who made really, really crappy jokes about it. Sometimes I could laugh, sometimes I couldn't. Um, but just in general, just being able to say, you know, I act weird, I know that you see it, and this is why, and please feel free to ask me anything. You'll have to clear up some of the misconceptions they have. You'll have to face a whole, probably like an, an onslaught of, of worry and concern, especially from family members, but just keep talking about it. Just keep talking, keep being honest, keep saying everything that's on your mind to people that can handle it and trust them to tell you when to stop because that's their issue and not yours. That's not your concern. If they can't handle it anymore, they'll tell you. And. Um, it's not like you'll talk about your eating disorder every minute of the time that you spend with them because for them it's probably not nearly as much as an issue as it is for you. Um, because like I said, they see you as somebody apart from the eating disorder and that's really great. So I can just encourage everybody, pick at least one person you trust to talk to. Seriously do it. Think about what you want to say first. I know you're going to be so nervous and you're going to be so scared, but that's normal. And um, you know, just remember that you're always free to to pick the time and what to reveal. And even if you've you've told someone and ready to talk about this any time, and then you change your mind, you have the right to change your mind. Everything is in your hands. You have complete control over what to talk about. So may, it might not be as scary as you think. And give other people time to deal with it, answer their questions, be gentle about their feelings and their worry. And um, yeah, please. I would love to hear, maybe you can do a video response or something about um, what happened as you opened up to people because that's the subject that I'm really interested in. All I can talk about is my own experience, which has been very, I mean, thankfully very good. So, um, yeah, tell me how it's going. <laughs> Bye, guys.